This is an invitation to all who love Idaho's wildlife. Join us the weekend of August 24th for the Idaho Wildlife Summit. We all impact wildlife and we are all responsible for it. This agency, Idaho Fish and Game, was created by the people of this state to manage our wildlife. But we need your help. We need your interest, your ideas, and your expectations. Idaho's wildlife belongs to you. American wildlife conservation is grounded in the belief that wildlife belongs to the people. An idea commonly known as the public trust doctrine, or the North American model of wildlife management. This keystone concept was established by Supreme Court decision in 1842. But it wasn't until the 1930s that modern conservation ideas came into the American mainstream. Across the nation, states created professional wildlife management agencies. In Idaho, the people of the state stood up for wildlife, demanding a professional agency. By voter initiative, a five-member Fish and Game Commission was established in 1938 and a new era of professional wildlife management was launched. The mission statement of the Idaho Department of Fish and Game is officially part of Idaho Code, Section 36103, and this is who we are. All wildlife, all wildlife, including all wild animals, wild birds, and fish within the state of Idaho, is hereby declared to be the property of the state of Idaho. It shall be preserved, protected, perpetuated and managed. It shall only be captured or taken at such times or places. Under such conditions or by such means or in such manner. As will preserve, protect, and perpetuate such wildlife. And provide for the citizens of this state. And as by law permitted to others. Continued supplies of such wildlife for hunting, fishing, and trapping. This is our guiding principle in determining how to best meet and represent the needs of hunters, anglers, and trappers, and others who value wildlife. However, much has changed since the voters created the Fish and Game Commission in 1938. Idaho's human population has tripled, and the majority has shifted from rural areas to urban. Development has impacted wildlife. Moreover, new responsibilities have been added to Fish and Game's mission, such as the management of threatened and endangered species, under the Federal Endangered Species Act. Non-game species, those not harvested like songbirds and reptiles, are also part of Fish and Game's responsibility. This demands more agency responsiveness and resources. They're right there. Get it. But despite all that has changed since 1938, one conviction has not. Hunting, <laughs> fishing, and our wildlife are valued by the vast majority of Idahoans. And although all wildlife is managed in trust for the citizens of the state, hunters and anglers pay nearly the entire bill. No state general tax revenue is provided to fish and game. As a result, it is a challenge to address the state's wildlife conservation responsibilities while continuing to meet our mission to ensure hunting and fishing opportunities. We need your help in defining how to best meet these challenges because Idaho's wildlife belongs to you. This is our vision. The Idaho Department of Fish and Game shall work with the citizens of Idaho in providing abundant, diverse fish and wildlife, ensuring a rich outdoor heritage for all generations. Join us the weekend of August 24th for the Idaho Wildlife Summit. Our hope is to use live streaming and remote locations throughout the state to enable people to participate.